fun. First, yeah, I know, thank you for your time, taking particularly maybe your time to talk to me about this. I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of horror movies, so let's just, I'm going to get that out of the way first before uh, diving into anything else. So uh, to me, it's down by down my alley to talk about this movie, and obviously Ted Bundy is mm -hmm. such, a, such a subject to talk about. Um, so again, mm -hmm. uh, congratulations on the movie, and thank you for your time. Thank you. Okay. We got a lot to dive into. Um, we don't have too much time. Um, what is it about Tim Bundy that, that makes him such a subject matter to, you know, to make different, so many projects about him? What, what is it about him specifically that drew you to this project? Honestly, I think it's the fact that he per personifies evil. You know, I think we're endlessly fascinated by evil doers, evil minds. And I think he represented, you know, that, you know, very similar to the title of the film, you know, he was that American boogeyman of, of my childhood that I remember, you know, wreaking havoc and terror across the, the, the country. And, and the things that he did were so unspeakable that, you know, I, I don't think he'll ever be forgotten for that reason. Certainly, I don't mean to celebrate him. I have no intention or any idea in my mind that he's somebody that we should hold up and, and revere him or, 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 you know, make him into be anything other than the, the truly heinous monster that he was. Um, something that I, I really loved about the movie is that you, I think you guys did an amazing job in recreating those times. That mm -hmm. production side is so always, you know, the production design is, 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 is you know, it's difficult to be able to, pro, you know, to, to transport the viewer into those specific times, was it there? Was it there something specific, specific that you that you remember that you found really difficult in order to present on the on the on the on the, on the movie that you want that you like you, you feel the ones that stood out? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, it's hugely important. I mean, it's really difficult. In 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 2020, when we we made this movie, we were by the way we we're the first independent movie to be greenlit by the Screen Actors Guild and the Directors Guild to even go into production at the time. I mean, we were so at the beginnings of COVID and not really knowing how to work. Um, and and filmmaking is so collaborative and so kind of labor intensive, you know, we're all kind of trampling over each other, trying to get things done. So to work in these new zones and these kind of bubbles that the unions helped create, and we were the first ones to sort of step out and do that. So that was number one, a big challenge, but number two, yes, yes, to create on a limited time, you know, budget mm -hmm. that we had, time schedule we had to transport the audience back to 1974 to 1978, very difficult, but we were very fortunate and that we found a location in Pomona, California, uh, which was kind of like an abandoned, shut down uh, uh, quadrant of an old uh, college campus. And the majority of the film was shot on that location. So, and it had that very kind of old style buildings and the, everything felt very, like we were transported back to that time. You know, there was the architecture kind of lent itself to it. Um, not that we didn't do a lot of production design work and we had a great art department to, to bring in all of the the props and things and the, certainly the costumes. Um, that's always, you know, part mm -hmm. of ours, certainly. But yeah, yeah, I think it was really the challenge was is, was making a movie at the height of the COVID pandemic. Really not easy. <laughs> yeah, that, that's always a challenge. I have three more questions before I let you go. I, I want to talk a little bit about the casting. But before mm -hmm. I, we dive into the casting, because I think that's really great, specifically, specifically lean, lean, lean. I mean, ha mm. having lean is like we know who we know. She's one of the, you know, she know, we know when it comes to horror, we know who she is, obviously. Absolutely. But Shana yeah. Komuri, obviously, and Holland. But uh, what was it about all of these different cases that Ted Bundy had? Obviously, what was it about the sorority case that you felt that you needed to focus on it? You mean the the the, the, that, the, the, the house? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, it's it's where he lost control completely. You know, prior to that, he had been almost like an organized killer. He planned it out. He stalked these. You know, like it was a one by one by one thing, and he would down to sort of cover his tracks. In Florida, he he. It's like he lost control of all of that, and in one heinous, horrific night went from room to room in this in this sorority mm -hmm. house where these unwitting girls were sleeping mm -hmm. and brutalized them, murdered mm -hmm. 
And it's just so heart wrenching to me, you know, and, and, and I, you know, I didn't pull away from those violent acts, but if you, now you've seen the film, I don't really focus on it. I keep it, the camera very mm. almost ethereal. Like, like this is, this is, you know, I wanted to distance the audience a little bit from the violence because I just think if to show that in graphic detail is, 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 you know, it's difficult to do and it's, and it's just not the movie I wanted to make. You know, I wanted to show the viciousness of his crimes, but I didn't want to linger on that too much. Um, it was really more the story of the law enforcement, the people who worked so hard to to track this man down against all odds. They didn't have technology the way we do today mm -hmm. to to assist them. Um, but um, yeah, I, I think I think that that sorority house massacre, we'll call it, was the end of the road for him. Mm -hmm. Well, um, it was yeah. it was extremely Sorry. yeah it was just it was it was the part of the story that I feel like needed to be told so yeah yeah there's so many cases to chose to choose from I mean he did so many heinous things. absolutely it's just, it's just yeah I I I'm gonna I'm putting myself in your shoes so like I mean which one do I choose they're all so difficult to recreate so I mean that's I I think I I mean I I really did like the way you presented it um, thank you. Let's talk about cast. The cast is amazing. Holland, uh, Chad Michael Murray, Lane, obviously, like I said. How did that came about? What did Chad think when you know he was presented with the idea? Hey, do you want to do Ted Bundy? You know, understanding mm -hmm. that many people already done Ted Bundy, and he's obviously yeah. somebody that you know uh, it's, it's difficult to to re recreate. So, what did Chad and, and the cast? Uh, how did what did the how did the cast re reacted to the story? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, it was. Um... Chad got the script and, and read it and called me right away because he was really taken with the fact that I didn't glamorize Ted Bundy. I didn't make him out to be this great guy who might be a little wet, misunderstood. Maybe he wasn't so bad after all. That's not the story I had on the page and certainly not the one that I intended to tell. I think he understood the, the dark side of it all. And Chad's just the opposite of that. He's like a warm hearted family guy. Mm -hmm. He loves his kids and his wife and he lives very, you know, kind of like a man of, on the land almost, you know, he's very outdoorsy. Um, and, but I think he understood what we were trying to say with this film, which was, you know, that, that, that Ted Bundy was a, a monstrous being um, and I wasn't making any excuses for him. And I think he appreciated that. I was drawn to Chad because of his performance in uh, Riverdale um, as this kind of bizarre cult leader. Mm -hmm. uh, and also the fact that he had been in Freaky Friday many years ago, the remake with Jamie Lee Curtis and mm -hmm. Mark Harmon played, was also in Freaky Friday, played Ted Bundy in the very first TV movie, um, Deliberate Stranger. Um, so maybe that connected in my head as well. But then Lynn Shea was, was just like an obvious choice to me. Um, she just brings so much gravitas and reality to everything she does. And... And I just love her like you, you know, I think just as a, she's almost like a horror icon now in her career. And, um, and I don't think it was like the horror of it all that she brought, but I think she understood like mm -hmm. how, how, um, you know, sad Bundy's mother was and how in denial she was over the things, the horrific things her son had done. I mean, I can't imagine any mother having to come to grips with that. Mm -hmm. So I think Lynn really brought that sensitivity and that emotion to it. Um, to find, one final question, maybe a two-part final question. That's okay. Um, like I said, there are many, there are many projects that, that have been focused on, on Ted Bundy. What mm -hmm. is it about, about this one specifically? What makes this one stand out from the rest? And maybe, would we, will, will, are you willing to do other stories about Ted Bundy, other, 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 another movie maybe uh, between the line of other stuff that he has done, uh, or the other horrific stuff that you have done? Yeah, I mean, I think what's different about this is, is you know, again, it's it's following Ted Bundy and the horrific things that he did, but at the same time, the real story is what the 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 police and this, in particular, a young rookie detective out of the Seattle Police Department named Kathleen McChesney, a real woman who was fighting sexism mm -hmm. uh, in. Department. She was a, a, a female detective in a male-driven. In, you know, business at that time and, and profession, she, you know, had to fight against sexism. She had to fight against a lack of technology, a lack of being taken seriously. 
Um, and I feel like in a way it's her story, you know, too. Uh, it's not really Bundy's story so much as it is showing him as the dark malevolent figure he was and, and then the people around him who, in the case of McChesney, who fought so hard to track him down. And then obviously the repercussions and the, and the damage that was done to the families and the victims and survivors. So I think that's really what it, what the story is about that I feel like is different from other movies that have been done about him. Um, would you be able to do uh, open to do something else between the line of Ted Bundy? Talking, talk, another maybe story about him? I don't know. I don't think so. I, I mean, think for so. me, I don't feel like there's anything more I need to, for myself, I don't okay. need to add. Sure, there'll be other movies and documentaries mm -hmm. forever about this guy because I think we're endlessly fascinated with minds and and you know the mind of a of a of a madman like this I, I don't know why that is necessarily but i think it's dealing with our own fears you know our own fears of death our own fears of 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 um pain and suffering and i think he he brings that up in us mm -hmm. and i think we're we're always trying to distill it and understand that yeah daniel again thank you for your time i really enjoyed the movie and i think you just you touched on one point that i i, I a production production design was amazing also you know and obviously a casting but i think that you that hold on specific character kathleen was really good because like you just said yourself it it, it really put out out and you know the reality we were living right now back in the days there was no technology i mean it was more difficult for a woman even today it's more difficult for one to get anything, anything yeah. done. that hasn't changed much but it no. back in the day, it was even it's more changed. difficult like, yeah, you're right. You're right. It was, it was just harder. You know, they had mm -hmm. the, the real McChesney who I showed the film to, and she really liked it. Yeah. She thought we got the essence of it. Correct. So I, I want to commend you on telling you that you did a great right, right job on putting all those different points and putting them across and making some, putting those in the spotlight. So I want to, again, congratulate you on the film. And it was really, really, really fun watch, really interesting watch. And I really like the, the, your take on the story. So again, congratulations and thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. You take care of yourself and stay safe. <laughs>